Hey man, what's good with y'all, bro? It's been a while. Today I'm back with another tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna break down my drum bounce for emotional beats, especially with high BPMs. A lot of the sounds that I'm gonna be using in this beat are gonna be available in our drum kit that's dropping soon. So first, I just use that loop that I made with my real guitar. I can break that down if you want me to. Just let me know in the comments. This is what the loop sounds like. I mean, so for the drums, I'm just explaining my thought process and how I come up with the bounce. So first, I always use a clap or a rim shot or a snare or whatever. Shout out to Ren, that's the, the Ren clap. So once you get the low bounce going, I always add a hi-hat or a snare, it depends, but most of the time I just add the hi-hats first. This hi-hat is a regular like hit one. I just turn up the, the out knob a little bit and then for the effects, I recommend using a lot of delay on your hi-hats, especially for these like pain beats. You put the time to one fourth, then I just turn up the feedback a little bit. Then you go to the input volume, and you turn it all the way down, then you hold control and you're going to drag the knob a little bit up until it sounds good to you. But for me, I like to have it pretty low so that way it doesn't clash with the pattern itself then add some reverb i just turn down the wet knob make sure the size is all the way up and i cut some of the lows then that's the optional size that you can add you can add this low reverse things and you can add the the effects right there you can add some reverb that's pretty cool too then lastly on the eq i just cut the lows came up with this low pattern as you can see i play a lot with the velocities i feel like that's super important when you want to really get the bounce going and do some different and then as you can see i don't have a lot of rolls i just have one right there and at the end the for this roll you just go to the snap to grid go to one six beat you just make a roll up with the velocities then for the last two i just go to one six step and i just do that roll going down with the velocities so that's what a hi-hat sounds like with the clap As you can see, it's pretty simple. It's very like repetitive because that's the catchy part about it. But then you got some variation going on. For example, right there and the reverse at the end. And then right there, I got the roll and shit. And for the bounce itself, I'm gonna be honest, I don't have no secret formula or nothing. I just listen to the loop. Then I try to come up with something in my head. Usually, I don't even use the two steps for these patterns. I just click them in. Whatever I feel like should hit, I put a hi-hat right there. And then I keep in mind that I'm gonna be using the snares too. So I give a lot of space. And then I'm add the snares in between and that's really what gives the whole thing a bounce then as you can see i got three snares so maybe you can think that it's a lot but you're gonna see that it's actually not much first the basic snare i got it placed at the regular pattern and then i got two snares so the first one then the second one and what i like to do with these two snares is i like to play them like back and forth and most of the time when they hit is really when there's an empty space so that way you can hear them they're not clashing with the hi-hat or the clap or whatever and at the same time i give them a lot of space that way they're not like doing too much it's not too busy and i think that's really the most important part about my bounce is i give a lot of space i think silence is a part of the whole bounce that's a major key right there you gotta leave a lot of silence in your beats to have bounce this is what a pattern looks like for the second snare and the third one so they're pretty similar as i said they go back and forth i'm gonna play them too So as you can see there's already a lot of bounce going on so next i always add an open hat it's a, a basic open hat i just turned the out knob pretty high then with the open hat i added a reverse one that goes into the clap i make that one hit every four bars for the open hat there's a lot of them but as you can see i turn the velocities down a lot so that way you don't really notice them but they hit when the 808 hits so that way it just gives a little more punch to the 808 this is what it sounds like with the rest As you can see, there's not much left. There's the 808, then I got a perk that hits just one time when it drops. 
and then I got a triangle. That's like a signature perk that I use in every beat. And I'm gonna be honest, for the other way, look at the pattern. It's super simple. A lot of space in that pattern. I didn't do no crazy rolls, crazy off the grid type of 808s, nothing. I just used the regular bounce that everybody uses. The one, the boom, boom, boom. Easy, you feel me? Nothing crazy. So the thing that I did to add a little more bounce though for the 808, I did the second 808. So I got the spins, that's the main one. And then I got the Zay, just doing some stutters. And at the end, I got that note that's playing because it blended well with the other one so i'm just play them by themselves so you can hear how the pattern sounds like as you can see that's nothing crazy that's really simple everybody can make that it just takes a good ear to know when you should place the 808 and not place the 808 and also if you want to make beats for artists you gotta leave space because if you don't then nobody can use the beat you feel me i'm gonna show you how the end result sounds like Hey man, I hope y'all enjoyed that tutorial. That's the first for me to do some of the drums. If y'all want to see more of my drums, just let me know in the comments. I'm going to drop all the sauce for y'all. What do you mean by that? Don't forget to check out the Patreon in the description. We're still doing the classes every month. Go subscribe to that $10 subscription. Make sure you like the video. You know, comment your thoughts, what you want to see next. Subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all next time, man.